What's wrong with this figure is that the two strands are not shown as being anti-parallel. The two arrows indicate that the two strands are going in the same direction, as if we had the three prime ends of both of them together and the five prime ends of both of them together. This is a structure that's physically not possible. The bases can't pair with each other when they're in the same orientation at all. Even if an A is opposite a T, they can't form a base pair when their strands are running in the same orientation. So what have we done? We've talked about different ways to represent DNA, why we need to have ways to represent DNA, unlike people who study mice or flowers, we can't see it at all. So we have important conventions that we can represent DNA by something as simple as a line, but if we're drawing a line, it represents DNA running in the th five prime to three prime direction. Um, we use error heads to indicate directions. Um, if we can write two strands, but we don't need to show two strands because the sequences are complementary. Now, coming up next in Lecture 1D, we're going to talk about the history of DNA, starting with the replication of DNA. I hope to see you there.